Today we're really excited because it's the first time in seven months that we're going to be leaving Granada, Nicaragua. We're doing a day trip to Apoyo Lagoon where we're going to be doing some swimming, some kayaking, and if we're really lucky, we might see howler monkeys. We've got our sun protection, our swimmers, and our masks, so we're all set. Let's go. Yeah, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're bucket list travelers. We've been living in Granada, Nicaragua, since the start of the COVID pandemic. No official requirements to stay at home in Nicaragua due to the pandemic, but we've been taking our own precautions and social distancing. The locals are also taking measures into their own hands, so you'll see that a lot of them are wearing masks as well, which is comforting, and businesses here also uh, won't allow people to go into their stores without masks. Also very comforting. We've just reached the meeting point um, for our tour, which is Iglesia La Merced. In the last couple of months, we've started cautiously venturing out a bit more and exploring Granada. If you'd like to see more videos on living in Nicaragua, as well as our bucket list travel vlogs, then don't forget to subscribe. The day tour that we're going on requires guests to wear masks while on public transport and in the common areas in order to keep everyone safe. They also provide hand sanitizer at the hostel. Apoyo is located in the centre of the Nicaraguan Pacific Coast. It is halfway between the towns of Granada and Masaya and the drive from the capital of Managua to Apoyo can be done in under an hour. Apoyo is part of a volcanic chain that runs from the north to the south of Nicaragua. It is nestled in between Mombacho Volcano and Masaya Volcano. Before we got to the lagoon, our driver Domingo took us to a spectacular lookout point for a few happy snaps. This lookout was next to the restaurant La Cueva de Tigre. The crater is about 6 kilometres in diameter and Apoyo Lagoon has a maximum depth of 176 metres. There are currently eight hotels and hostels located at the shore or very close to the shore of the lagoon. There are also various restaurants, the majority located at the region of Plan de la Laguna. If you haven't already noticed, we are really cautious about COVID safety precautions and had decided to take this day trip to Apoyo once we were told that there were safety precautions in place. Looks like a slow day today. No children caught. Breakfast is served. So this is a typico breakfast with eggs and gallo pinto and some queso. Yum yum yum. Ah, Maduro. Tried bananas as well. Yum 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 yum. and with an awesome view. How amazing is this view? So what you see here is the crater lake of Apoyo. Well, it's actually a lagoon. And it was created around 23,000 years ago uh, as, as a result of a big volcanic eruption. Just amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool that we have this place pretty much to ourselves. So they're just a handful of people here. Yeah, as you can see, maybe we'll just turn around. So that's the bar area up there. And there's only about six people that we came on the tour with. So, woohoo. So we're just getting ready to go kayaking here in Lake Apoyo. And we're going to kayak to the other side of the lake, which is about an hour's kayak away.
halfway there. Probably another half hour to go. Then we've got an hour to paddle back. Feeling the burn. Feel the burn. This area has been a nature reserve in Nicaragua since 1991. And it has an abundance of flora and fauna, including howler monkeys, which you can hear in the distance. the other side of the lagoon, yay! After about an hour of kayaking, just getting in the water here is just amazing. It's about 30 degrees because there's still volcanic activity underneath the, the lake. It's so relaxing. The Laguna de Apoyo Nature Reserve or Reserva Natural Laguna de Apoyo has a tropical dry ecosystem. Coyotes, deer, opossums, and howler monkeys all live here. Going hunting for howler monkeys. This trip has been organised by Paradiso Hostel here in Apoyo Lagoon. Their Wednesday getaway Laguna de Apoyo package was just $10 US per person. This included round trip transportation from Granada to Laguna de Apoyo, a mango daiquiri and a day pass to Paradiso Hostel. So as you can tell, we're in the middle of the rainy season so it, there are storms from time to time and it just looks like there's one there and it's coming right for us. Hostel Paradiso is basically right through there, only about six kilometers away. So we've got uh, an interesting ride back. So in the space of 10 minutes, the storm has completely covered the lake. And it's now raining where we are, so we're going to try and get under shelter. So we're currently squatted under a tree, waiting out the storm. Hopefully it passes over soon, because we've got an hour to go to kayak home. Well, this is all part of the adventure. So we're waiting it out until we can have some sort of visibility to see where we're going. So it's, it's another couple of kilometers back uh, to Hostel Paradiso, so yeah. Um, well, we're confident it'll pass. We were thinking a couple of minutes ago that we were gonna go back and then there was this big crack of lightning, so better, better safe than sorry. The water in the lagoon is actually quite warm and it's warmer than here. I really want to get back into the water because I'm freezing at the moment. I can't see any blue sky yet. I'm really hoping it passes soon. Well, we finally made it. Oh, that was an ordeal, but worth it. And now we're relaxing with some tea with a bit of rum, a good measure. Mm. adventure left us with a huge appetite. We were starving and having only eaten breakfast. There is such a large menu on offer here of both Nicaraguense and international dishes. <laughs> it's 
So we've got a filet mignon here. Um, that looks amazing. And then this is a breaded fish. Equally amazing. Yum, yum, yum. That food was really good, particularly the filet mignon. Haven't had one of those in like a year, so that was really nice to have. Okay, now we have a bucket list exclusive. We have Julia, who is the owner Hello. of uh, Hostel Paradiso. Yeah. Yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself and um, what you, oh, your journey in Nicaragua. What we do here. Yeah. So we arrived in Nicaragua seven years ago. Probably two weeks afterwards, we came here in Paradiso as a uh, tourist. F completely fell in love with the place. After we spent a few months looking for the place to um, to buy and build the hostel. Yeah. And by chance, we just came back here and the owner was looking for their managers. Oh, wow. Uh, to manage the place. So we said, bingo, we are here. <laughs> so we, uh, we get stuck here with the nicest view in the cleanest water in Nicaragua and Central America. Best swim ever. Yeah. Best kayak ever, if it's not raining, I guess. Yeah, but no, it was, it was warmer in the water than it was outside today. Exactly, really. that's what's happening all the time. And a uh, perfect place to be stuck in Nicaragua. Yeah. Or visit at least. It so, is. So. I'm yep. here. Yep. <laughs> We're finishing the day with a mango daiquiri overlooking the water. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So good. We're Bucket List Travellers, signing off for now. See you next time. See you next time. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.